Alright guys and welcome back to Temple. It is Saturday which means obviously it is deadlift day. Now a couple weeks ago I lied to you and said that 350 would have been the heaviest I'm going to go this training cycle. Uh, but feeling a little fucking uh, saucy and thinking about sending it. Full send. I haven't hit a PB on deadlifts in quite some time. Uh, we've got Paul's deadlifts today which is going to be fucking sick. And um, I'm looking forward to it baby. Yeah, and I'm hoping to put something heavier on the bar than what I told my bicep with around three months ago. Let's fucking go. So, last warm up, 360 kilos. Uh, that is 10 kilos heavier than uh, my last heavy session that I did. And I've still got more to go. Um, feeling very fucking strong. I keep those pauses on the last warm up a little shorter. Uh, I don't want to fry myself for that top heavy set because these are heavy fucking weights now. And you know, pausing 350, 360 plus, it fucking takes it out of you. Uh, but I'm very confident. That felt very fucking good. And I am super fucking keen to hit a big PB. Let's fucking go. Fucking oath. <laughs> Sick. Um, very happy with that 375. That is 10 kilos heavier than what I tore my bicep with, without a pause. And that is a five kilo pause PB all time. Creeping back up there, feeling very strong at the moment. I'm two weeks out. It's time to deload a little bit now and uh, put it on the platform. But I'm very happy with that. After that though, I've got some RDLs in. Just 210 kilos, pause RDLs. Um, nice range of motion, uh, staying nice and tight. Felt very good followed by a bit of fun with the boys with some farmer's carries. Um, Costa challenged us big dogs to a fucking competition and uh, he learned a lesson in humility, but that was always gonna happen. Uh, but it's been a really good day, it's been a really positive session. Again, my last heavy session before comp with deadlifts. So I'm finishing the prep on a high, I'm healthy, feel very fucking good. My body weight's coming up. Uh, I've got to eat some more food though. I've got to put a few more kilos on. I'm a little bit lighter than I wanted to be, but all in all, really positive. Getting back into it, back in the swing of things and back into the fucking scene. Let's go, baby.
Okay, so this dickhead over here has challenged <laughs> us two dickheads to a farmer's carry challenge. Um, I don't think he thought it through though. <laughs> but but we all made mistakes. We have challenged the big dogs. We've handicapped it, so he can wear his um, <laughs> LGBQT <laughs> with straps. Um, <laughs> and I think you're gonna chuck him on at some point, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna try and avoid them. I wanna uh, beat these two big dogs. I swing both ways, so. <laughs> he does swing both ways. Uh, and that's okay. We're very happy that people are comfortable being themselves here. Let's go, baby. Yeah. No. Worst video ever. Yeah, boy! Long arms, rock your elbows. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. LGBTQT, let's get it. Let's go, baby. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> 